Well, just outside of Stillwater, Oklahoma, is a small, privately owned museum that honors the author Washington Irving, but not for his writing ability. Irving was also an explorer and in the 1930s was one of the first to chronicle a trip into what is now Oklahoma. And thanks to the help of over 50 volunteers from the tourism industry, the little museum has gotten a makeover. Here's our Brian Bendeley. That's the first horse-drawn grader in Payne County. They uh, used that, they was, pulled it with horses, and it took two men. And back here there was a platform where this guy that operated this part stood. A piece of Oklahoma history that can only be found at the Washington Irving Trail Museum just east of Stillwater. Del Clover is the owner of the museum and the first recipient of the Department of Tourism's destination makeover. This puts a polish on uh, the whole thing and does what I was uh, neglecting. Dale and his wife Carla have been curators of the museum since 1991. The museum exhibits memorabilia from Native American artifacts to Oklahoma history of the surrounding area. What's happening today is just amazing. Uh, I can hardly wait to see you know, the finished product, but it's already looking so much better. Over 50 representatives from Oklahoma's tourism industry came together to volunteer their time to help renovate the museum's exterior and spruce up the interior. We're going to stain the siding and we did some serious landscaping, of course painting and general cleanup. Um, there's some signage that we're going to put up later. Uh, we've even done uh, other things like we redid their brochure for them and we brought in a new brochure rack and, and just general spruce up uh, facelift kind of things. So we're trying to give it a rustic look to kind of match the what the exhibits internally are so when you drive by the museum on the outside actually matches what's on the inside it gives you kind of a uh, little teaser about what you're going to see when you go inside. Something the volunteers believe will help attract visitors to this area. There's a lot of museums and attractions for all different interest areas so we're really excited to be really kind of spotlighting one and enhancing it so that will be more of a draw for the tourism development industry. The project plays off of the popular TV show Extreme Makeover and finished the renovations in just one day, ending with a letter of recognition from the governor. May 17, 2006 as Voluntourism in Action Day. And a grand finale. I think everyone did a, a wonderful job. Uh, it's simply an, an amazing transformation uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be forever grateful. <laughs> Definitely showcasing volunteerism in action by giving a facelift to a museum for an increase in economic growth. <laughs>